I'll take you home. Absolutely. Welcome back. School choice means giving parents the ability to direct both their children and their education funding to the schools best suited for all of them. Many parents opt to send their kids to charter schools where local administrators can manage teacher hire without unions or tenure and educators can sidestep district red tape to implement their lessons. According to Beck Research, 69% of parents support school choice and it's not just a partisan opinion. 60% of Democrats favor it along with 67% of independents and not surprisingly 81% of Republicans. But not everyone wants parents to have a choice in their kids' education. Many like Mayor de Blasio here in New York City would rather consign all children to mediocre schools than risk inequality between schools. Am I crazy for wanting to beat them in accountability to education? This is a crazy Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Naomi Konst, she is president of the Accountability Project. She joins us along with Steve Laser, Democratic strategist and host of the radio show Making Sense with Steve Laser. All right, so Steve, go ahead and put your laser beam on me. <laughs> I think there's a, a lot of inequality in schools right now. It's really a bifurcated system between the haves and the have-nots. We can get into that a little bit later. Why are you against school choice? I'm not really against school choice in the sense that we've had... The segment is done. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming, everybody. Point proven. No, you know what, Kennedy? Listen, first of all, by the way, congratulations on your new show. Thank you. Glad you got it. But um, we've had school choice all along. If you we have private schools, we have parochial schools. What I think is the mistake is to focus on school choice instead of fixing our public education system. Um, and, and, and in terms of, you know, there's this popular perception out there that these charter schools are necessarily better than public schools. The data doesn't exactly show that. Yes, it does. About half of, uh, of uh, uh, excuse me, 25%, I should say, of charter schools do better than public on reading. 19% do worse. 29% do better on math. 31% do worse. All the rest are pretty much in line with how public schools do. So there's this perception out there widely varies on the school. Of course, if you ask parents, they're going to want to send their kids to better schools. I understand that, Paul. It totally makes sense. I want to send my kids to, to better schools. But should policy uh, you know, be uh, architected around the idea of school choice, or should we be fixing schools? We should be fixing the public schools. All right. First of all, a lot of charter schools operate within the public school system. Yeah. I send my girls to a charter school mm -hmm. within uh, the second largest school district, school district in the country. The reason it's so popular is because parents do have much more involvement, and that is critical, because in the system that's run by teachers' unions, parents have very little say teachers get hired for life it's impossible to get rid of bad teachers and that's why in California there's been a judicial decision saying uh, that is unlawful and it violates kids civil rights to have a good education what do you think Naomi I mean if it were fair if charter schools were truly open to every single demographic then that would be fair but the problem is is that number one there is no accountability with charter schools there's no oversight there's no transparency they're receiving federal funding your taxpayer dollars are going to charter schools, but the majority of them are not hitting the 70% mark in the standard rates. And the set of, seven, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a test that's given out every year to charter schools and to public education. Seven, most of public schools are hitting the 77 mark, and charter schools have overwhelmingly averaged out at 70%. So they're not hitting the marks, and there's no transparency. You don't know how much teachers are getting paid. You don't have any oversight. Teachers are, uh, there's turnover. The turnover rates for teachers is much higher because they're working the teachers too hard. They're not experienced. They're coming out six weeks of education experience teaching at charter schools. Now, that's yeah. all actually not true. Those are blanket statements applied across the country. It changes from state to state and district to district as it absolutely mm -hmm. should. And the reason charter schools are successful is because kids are learning and parents are happy. And when you talk about schools nowadays, all the liberals want to do is throw more and more money at these problems. And parents are stuck with either paying $50,000 a year for a private at school or getting stuck with standardized testing, common core, and teachers you can't fire, those teachers unions. And that is hugely problematic. Now in Ohio, they've saved over $500 million with school vouchers. Why is the left to a voucher system that gives parents and their kids a choice? It's going to destroy the public school system. That's why you're taking all that money out of the public schools. Good. But, but maybe that's a good thing. And it's you're enforcing thing. Brown versus Board of Education then. You're segregating a portion of the, of, of the population that doesn't have access to the charter school vouchers because they're not these vouchers at private country clubs. They're literally
money, handing them out at country clubs. There are the private country club schools because parents cannot afford to send their kids to these really expensive schools. So the problem is when government gets involved, that's when you have this inequality. What the, about people the, who, the, the people who can operate outside of the system, they go to the best schools. The rest of everyone else, they are forced into government mediocrity. Right. If we have a choice, problems, they definitely. can get into better schools. Okay, Andy, let me tell you something. 99% of the public schools out there with the existing administration, existing teachers, would be doing just as well as charter or private schools if they were able to cherry pick their students just like the charters and private schools. Do. That's also a misnomer. That's uh, not true. You say they true. cherry pick, it's involved and concerned parents who want better for their kids. That's cherry picking. All parents That's should be involved. Picking. And why exactly. because there are parents who aren't as involved doesn't mean that their kids should go to crappy schools run by bad teachers with too much money that doesn't solve the problem. Thank you both it's for being here. Teachers. And we so will much more. <laughs> there is too. much more to discuss. We will have rounds two through twenty-eight right back here. Thanks again, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Our panel.